Hey y'all, my name is Levi Wire Electronics. I am back here with another video for you guys. Today we are going to be doing this video using a Windows 11 laptop. Um, Windows 10 currently is down for me, so Windows 11 was my best bet. Um, today we are going to be looking at how to install Windows 11 to an unsupported computer. It is possible. Um, and it will it will work um, I guarantee you that I've done it on many computers within the business before anything that gets done remember that in order to do this you will need to reinstall Windows and erase everything on your computer back everything up I am NOT responsible for data loss or anything that goes wrong during this process if you mess something up it's on you you can comment and ask for help I will help you but I am NOT responsible for anything that happens. Let me make sure this is actually recording my voice. Looks like it is. Um, so, let's start. First, what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to go to this website right here. Um, now, this obviously is on my end, but go to microsoft.com slash software dash download slash Windows 11. It'll take you to what looks like this screen right here. And what you'll want to do is you will want to scroll down to create Windows 11 installation media. And you want to download that. That will download an EXE file to your computer. What you want to do is open that EXE file when it's done. And what it will do is it will go through a process. Uh, it has many processes actually and after it's done it'll come to a screen that says legal terms at this screen you will want to hit accept to move forward if you do not you're not gonna have Windows 11 sorry to tell you um, after the system goes through one more process you'll come to a screen that asks you for what bit system you have if you have a 32 bit or a 64 bit or if you have the room on your USB flash drive click both and it'll just automatically do it based on what computer you have. After you, after this, you will need to plug in a USB flash drive or an external hard drive to install the media to. And after that, you can click next and it will officially start the process of installing Windows 11 to your USB or external hard drive. Note that this does not mean Windows 11 is being installed onto your system. It is only being installed as an installation media to your flash drive or external hard drive. After the installation is done, you will need to tur uh, turn off your computer fully, shut it down, and turn it back on holding the key to get into your BIOS or boot screen. I will post, I posted the buttons down below as you can see down here. Um, they are usually escape, delete, F1, F2, F10, F11, or F12. Um, once you click on, whew, if I can talk right. Once you click on the flash drive in your Windows UEFI, it will boot up into Windows 11 and you'll start the process of installing it. Now, here's where you need to stop. You do not want to click anything right now. Uh, you need to press the button combination Shift F10 and a command prompt, or if you are tech savvy, CMD will open. You'll need to type in reg edit R E G E D I T without the asterisk and press enter to continue. After you type in that command, it will open a window and it may look scary, but it's not. Follow these instructions very carefully as to not mess up anything and mess up your registry. What you'll want to do is navigate to the following path H key. Uh, dash local dash machine slash system slash setup without the asterisks right click the setup folder that you last clicked on right there and after you click on that select new in the menu that comes up and then click the option that says key name the key lab config as you see it in this video capital L A B capital C-O-N-F-I-G and press enter. 
Now right click the lab config folder that you just created and select new and then click the D word parenthesis 32 bit option. Name the key bypass TPM check as you see it right here. Everything needs to be the same and press enter. Double click the newly created entry, the bypass TPM check, double click that now and set its value from zero to one. Then click okay. Now this is the last part. Right click the lab config folder that we created up here and select new and then click the D word 32 bit option. Name this one bypass secure boot check as you see it right here. Press enter. Double click the bypass secure boot check right there and change its value from zero to one. Click okay and move on with the installation. Now, for those of you out there who have absolutely no idea what you're doing to get into your BIOS, here's a better way for you. As you can see down here, there is another way to click on and go to UEFI options. Go to settings, click on recovery, then click on startup options, then click on UEFI options when your computer restarts and boots up to a blue screen with options. Here's what you need to do. If you are running Windows 10, go down here to your Windows icon and click settings. If you're running Windows 11 already and you just want to reinstall this, then go up here and click on settings. Windows 10 and Windows 11 look a bit different, but it's the same folders. If you're running Windows 10, you want to go down here and you want to find uh, recovery, security and privacy, and then recovery. If you're running Windows 11, go down here to recovery. Now, once you're at this screen, you want to click what says advanced startup. Restart your device to change startup settings, including starting from a disk or USB drive. At this point, you need to click restart now, and it'll take you to a blue screen with options and it will officially um, boot you into UEFI options when you click that. That is how to install Windows 11 to an unsupported PC. Thank you guys for watching so much, and I hope you enjoyed. Comment if you need help. This is Wire Electronics, signing off.